going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Mellow Mondays podcast. Um, missed last week again, but today we're back at it. Another Monday upload. Um, been a busy week, actually. So my family was able to come and visit. I don't know if I talked about that um, coming up last time. But uh, yeah, family was able to come visit. So my parents, aunt, and then my grandma and grandpa. So we had a pretty uh, pretty busy couple days, honestly. We jam-packed a bunch of stuff in, which is good. Um, I, You know, Colorado is like one of those states where there's just so much to do. It's like, okay, let's do this, this, and this. Like when you go to the beach on vacation, it's like, all right, let's just relax, hang out, you know, whatever. Um, but here it's like, all right, let's wake up early. Let's go do this. So we, um, well, first off, me and my grandpa fished um, the first couple days. So that was good. I'm um, able to come up. We went and fished the frying pan. Um, and it was, it was decent. Like the frying pan didn't fish great. Um, the second day, the first day was decent, but the second day was a little slow. Um, but it was still fun. I was really excited that my grandpa was able to see the frying pan cause it's such a cool river. Um, and never fished it before. You know, I would call and talk about it all the time. So, um, was able to, yeah, just show him that and go hang out and, um, you know, just have fire at night and hang out by the campfire and drink some gin and tonics, whatever, smoke cigars. Like it's just kind of it. Nice and relaxing, really fond memories um, of doing all that with my family, um, so, more so my grandpa. But um, then the rest of my family got in, and we just kind of, we did a bunch of stuff. Um, we went fishing one day. Um, everybody caught a fish. Like, unfortunately, the fishing wasn't very good that day. I don't know what was going on. It had been really good, and then it kind of slowed down a little bit, so I don't know. Something, something had changed a little bit, but still fun to go out and fish together, and um we went to a Miner's Claim here in town, which is our favorite restaurant. It was just like, it was so good. Like, it didn't disappoint. It was just a really nice meal. Um, appreciate, you know, just being able to do things like that and to hang out. Um, had a couple of drinks and just good steak. And I got a Creole dusted pork chop, which I've never had before um, at that place. It was, it was really good. Um, so that was just, uh, just good vibes all around. Um, the day after that, we went to Ure, actually. And just went and hung out there. Um, we went to the Uri Hot Springs that evening. We just walked around and shopped and, and did a bunch of stuff. Um, pretty excited. We got some... I'm trying to find them here. I don't know where my moccasins went to. Me and my fiance each bought nice moccasins. Uh, we've been wanting nice moccasins for a while. And there's a store that has them. So we're like, all right, well, once we get there, we're going to splurge. And uh, buy some new house shoes because it's getting cold in the RV, you know, especially in the morning. You wake up, feet, feet are freezing, uh, the floor is cold. So we got uh, got these new moccasins. Maybe I put them in the back. I don't know. Doesn't matter. You don't need to see them. They're, they're cool, though. But I had a little crisis moment because I got there and Haley found what she wanted. Um, but then I couldn't find, like, the size that I wanted. Like, I, I'm very particular about anything that I buy. And so, like, it has to fit the right vibe and everything. And I couldn't find the right size. They didn't have, like, a 10 or whatever I needed. But eventually, like, I opened up the women's boxes. And then I, like, compared it. It's, like, the same shoe. Like, I don't understand why there's women's sizes. But whatever. Found a nice pair. They're very comfy. They've been nice to uh, lounge around in at home. So that's been good. Um, but, yeah, just hung out, ate lunch in Ure, um, took some photos, and, yeah, just kind of kind of relaxed overall. It was a cool, cool town. I don't know if you guys have ever been there, but a bunch of shopping and just, like, cool. It just, it's, like, the stereotypical, like, Colorado mountain town feel. Like, you're right in the canyon there. The the mountains are different than where we kind of live here in, in, in town. So, yeah, good good little uh, change of pace. Have, family hasn't done that yet, so it was good to kind of go do something new. And then yesterday, what did we do yesterday? Oh, we went to Marble. Met up with my cousin and their family. Um, they were all in town, so we went over to a second cousin, I guess. Not, yeah, second cousin. Um, but we went over to Marble again and ate at Slow Groove and Barbecue, which is so good. That place is so good. I just ate leftovers for lunch. I was like, man, I really like that place. Just good vibe. I mean, beautiful day. Like, perfect day, sunny, but not too hot, but it wasn't too cold, and just sat outside and got to catch up with everybody, which is nice, ate some great barbecue, and we're, you know, kind of barbecue snobs, if everybody's from Kansas City, like, we grew up with, you know, barbecue is a big, uh, yeah, it takes a lot to impress us, and I don't know, Slow Groovin's really cool, just a lot of really cool appetizers, all the servers and people there are super nice, like, you're right in town there, you're in the middle of nowhere, no cell service, um, it's just, I don't know, it's, it's one of my favorite spots to go. 
And then from there, we just went to this little beaver beaver lake over there and just kind of took some photos. And we drove up the quarry, actually, where they're mining the marble. Um, an Italian company has taken over. Um, but, uh, yeah, we just drove up the quarry, and you could see down the whole valley. And we got some really cool photos and stuff, um, just nice fall leaves. Because that was the fear, you know, my family was coming out. And I wasn't sure, like, okay, are we going to be able to see the leaves? Because they had starting change, they started changing pretty early. So we were kind of nervous, you know, that, like, we weren't going to weren't gonna get any, but it was like perfect. It was like the perfect time. They're a little, you know, maybe past, but it's still so pretty. Like you get those deep golds out here, um, even when the leaves are kind of about to start falling off and stuff. So it, yeah, it was just really cool views, got some great photos. Um, and then we drove back and watched the Chiefs game. Unfortunately, the Chiefs lost to the Bills, which sucks, but uh, close games. That was fun. Just hung out at the house. We went and got um, Indian for dinner. I've been craving. There's this uh, masala and curry spot in Glenwood that we like to go to. So picked that up and just kind of, yeah, just hung out for the evening. We knocked out some laundry so we didn't have to go to the laundromat, which was nice um, because they were staying at Airbnb. And I don't know, it was just just a good good weekend. They left uh, a couple hours ago. So, you know, still feeling feeling kind of sad, obviously, you know, like it's always good to have family in town. Um, I've talked about it a lot of times. You know, one of the hardest parts of being out here is just being so far away from family. It's the furthest we've ever, not me, not my fiance, but for me, it's the furthest I've been away um, from family. So especially with my work schedule in the summer, it's tough to just kind of make time to go back home. So it's good. Good to see everybody. I haven't seen them since uh, July. Um, and then we'll travel a little bit for Thanksgiving for my fiance's family. And then Christmas will be back in KC. So um, yeah, I don't know. Good. Feeling sad. They're gone. You know, it's it just kind of puts into perspective again of like, you know, trade-offs in life and trying to figure out, like, how do I want my life to look and all these different things, um, trying to find more ways to spend time with family, especially being so far away. Um, haven't figured that out yet, but that's kind of the the goal, at least. Um, but yeah, it was good to just, uh, I don't know, it was good to hang out, good to just spend time, quality time with family. I think that's the big thing about being apart is that when you are together, um, a lot of times it feels, you know, more, I, I, not that it's not good all the time, but like it feels a lot more quality time. Like we're not watching TV as much. You're not on your phone. Like we're out doing stuff, hanging out, catching up. Um, sometimes when you like live in the same city all the time and you do the same things, you know, it's just like, I don't know, you're on your phone, you're not as engaged. Like, so it's always good. And I think especially as I've gotten older, you know, realizing the importance of spending time with family and uh, I don't know. It's just good, especially to just go and fish with my grandpa. Like it was a, just a good, good time. Like I think I cherish those moments. He's the one who got me into fly fishing and now being a guide out here, you know, it's always special to go and show my grandpa where I fish every day. And it kind of puts it, you know, it's, it's just cool to show your family everything in general. Like, okay, this is where I lose service on my drive home through South Canyon or, you know, this is where service drops a little bit in Carbondale or, okay, this is one of my favorite spots to eat or, oh, this is when I say this, where, you know, like all you, you understand what I'm saying, like all these different things, um, just are, I don't know, special little moments that are able to, uh, yeah, just able to show your family it's fun. Um, and it was good. So kind of, you know, working through the, just the normal feelings, feeling sad when something changes back, you know, back on our own kind of in the RV. So Still gearing up for winter here. Um, did a walk through through everything today. Um, got a few things that need to get done. I'm gonna go wash my truck here in a bit. Um, get that all kind of ready before it gets real cold. Um, it's a mess. I I washed it real good because I thought I wasn't gonna have any more trips, and then obviously trips came in. So it's you know get everything kind of cleaned up, ready to go, and just kind of relax. Got a pretty heavy work schedule next uh, next week or so. So just working at the shop. And uh, just gearing up for gearing up for winter feels like it's just as I've said in like the past four podcast episodes, it's like winter is coming, winter is coming. Like it just seems like every you know, I just keep saying it every time, but it is. So we're we're gearing up for that. But um, yeah, I don't know. Just wanted to give you guys a little update, kind of share a few of the things I've done with our family. Um, I have another story, but I'm actually going to record another podcast after this, just because I'm working so heavy, I'm not going to be able to record one next week. So uh, I have a, a story about fishing with my grandpa that uh, is a good life lesson to um, to talk about. So uh, check out next week's episode um, for that little story. And uh, yeah, as usual, the thanks for liking and subscribing. Like my channel's grown quite a bit, um, even in the past like couple weeks. Like I'm getting more subscribers more often, which is awesome. I don't know if anybody watches the podcast. It's mostly 
uh, my RV video stuff, but uh, I do appreciate it. I, I appreciate uh, appreciate you guys uh, doing all that stuff because it makes a difference. And uh, once again, we're just trying to grow and uh, keep putting out uh, podcast episodes for y'all. But uh, yeah, hope you guys have a good week and we will catch you next week. And um, yeah, it's been another episode of the Mellow Mondays podcast. Peace. <laughs>